And one more thing to say about all this. One more thing. I think one reason people still support the war on drugs is because they see ending it as giving up. Give it up the fight to protect people from cyber. Give it up the fight to make sure people don't fall victim to these horrible drugs. Well, in a way it is giving up. But in a much bigger way, it's going in a better direction. Yeah, you give up trying to control people, but look at all the benefits you get from it. Look at all the benefits. You reduce crime, you save lives, allow people to protect themselves, heck, maybe even make some tax money out of it. You know, the war on drugs is kind of like, a, you know, the war on drugs is kind of like, the old, as the old saying goes, it's a game where the only way to win is to not play it. You know, it should never been done in the first place. So the only way to win is to not do it. <laughs> to end it. It is giving up, I have to admit. To stop controlling people, to stop trying to save them from these drugs. But it goes in a much better direction, which it should have gone in the first place. To never ever have a stupid war on drugs. Ever. So there's no point in getting more men, more money, more police resources to try and win the battle harder or smarter. You just end it and be done with it. That's, that's pretty much it. So, signing off.